So why do you want to be postgraduate students officer? Um, because I've, I've always kind of wanted to get involved in um, student politics, um, but I've, I've never kind of really known, known how to. Um, I, I think that like when you kind of look at elections and you look at candidates standing, you kind of, they look kind of amazing, you know, like almost like demigods, okay, that's, that's a bit of an exaggeration. Um, but um, that's why I kind of want to run for postgraduate office. I just want to represent the, the average UCL student, um, just like myself. Um, so I would really want to run for postgraduate student officer so I can kind of campaign for postgraduate, postgraduate community and really fight for their issues. I know there's quite a lot of issues that um, are coming up at the moment to do with um, postgraduate teaching assistants and um, the fact that their pay is being cut and it's, um, it's quite low already. Um, also in regards to saving the UCL Health Centre and um, I know there's quite a few department issues and faculty issues to the postgraduate community, which I've kind of experienced myself in my own department. So I'd really like to fight firsthand for those issues. Uh, have you been involved heavily with the postgraduate association? Um, I actually haven't been quite heavily involved. I've, I've been to several events. Um, to be honest, I'm quite new to student politics. And like I said before, like this is this is the first time I actually run as a candidate for election within the, within the union. Um, but I have been quite heavily involved in kind of local politics and issue campaigning in general. Um, I've worked on and off with uh, Save Our Hospitals and Save Our NHS campaigns to fight against um, A&E closures. Um, I've also campaigned for the national campaign against fees and cuts to fight against rising tuition fees. Um, more generally, I've, I've fundraised for the Children's Society. Um, I've undertaken the role of events officer at, uh, for Project for Plan charity. Um, I've also worked on and off with Amnesty International to help, to help raise awareness um, with schools in East London and um, I've just finished working with Charity um, Progress Educational Trust um, to help set up an all-party parliamentary group um, on health and genetics um, and I still volunteer there so um, I believe that I have had quite a lot of experience with issue campaigning and kind of local politics and I, I can use these skills to, to be a good postgraduate student officer. Uh, and if you were elected, how would you aim to improve the profile or the influence of the postgraduate association or postgraduates in general? Um, well, one of the things I'd really like to tackle is kind of the, the um, participation and engagement of postgraduate students within, within issues in student politics because um, me, me being a master's student, like most of us are only here for one year and we don't really get enough time to get involved or because the workload might be slightly, slightly heavier. You know, everyone just kind of a bit worried and that they don't tend to get involved as much as undergrads do, for example. Um, so one way I'd kind of like to tackle this is by creating a greater online environment um, and by kind of um, creating a new um, online postgraduate forum, um, which will entail creating an official website and making sure that it's kind of accessible and available for all postgraduate, postgraduate students. Um, ideally, I like this to be on, on the Moodle page of uh, all postgraduate students, so when they log on to see what they're studying and all their courses, they can kind of just click onto that as well, like it's right there. They don't have to trail through hundreds of um, internet pages to try and find it. Um, and I think this will be kind of a good way for students um, to discuss issues and debate, and they'll also have the power to initiate and um, start up petitions. So I think that's quite a good way to kind of get more, more postgraduates involved um, across across the board, across all de departments. Uh, as a master's student, do you feel you have the experience of UCL and of the postgrad community to properly represent them? I think that's a good question. I think, um, of course, I've only been here for a term or more, but um, I'm, I'm willing to work hard um, to kind of um, to get involved in more things and to, to kind of gain that experience. And um, like I said before, I think I, I have the transferable skills that I could use then to get more involved within that area. But, um, yeah. You mentioned that you want to campaign again on welfare, education and the financial cuts. Do you believe these are specifically postgraduate issues? Well, um, I think that in terms of the financial cuts, that's definitely something that's affecting postgraduates. Um, like I briefly mentioned before, specifically with postgraduate teaching assistants, um, their pay is being cut and it's, it's already very low. 
and they're not being paid for many things like marketing and preparation. And of course, many of the courses um, that are running for postgraduates, many of the compulsory courses, um, postgraduate teaching assistants are uh, a core component of these courses, and these courses couldn't run without the postgraduate teaching assistants. Um, so that's definitely an issue that I will campaign on, and I will definitely increase direct action within that area. Um, so I think the financial cuts definitely is affecting postgraduate community. Um, in terms of health and welfare, I mean, the UCL Health Centre is for all the students. Um, postgraduate students, there's a, there's a fair amount of uh, international students, um, postgraduate international students, and I know that um, from having a chat with students around campus, uh, specifically international students rely quite heavily on the UCL Health Centre, the, the postgraduate. So it's something that they feel quite strongly about. Um, and yeah, I think. Uh, this is the first year of a specific sabbatical officer for postgraduate students. Do you feel that postgraduates need their own sabbatical officer? Oh, I think they definitely do because um, there's different issues that affect the postgraduate community than they do the undergraduate. I think there's, you could, the postgraduate society, um, I, they kind of get affected by, by different things. I think in terms of of resources and facilities, I think we need to kind of focus on more postgraduate facility, facilities and resources because, um, from experience this this term and also from having a chat with students around campus, um, I, I found that there has actually been uh, some people have found that there's been a lack of postgraduate kind of facilities and um, resources, and that's something that I'd like to work on. And on the topic of the postgraduates officer, uh, this current one, Ben Tous, yeah. has been very active on picket lines and campaigning for Yulu, etc. Will you be as active on the campaign front or will you be more an office based worker? I think I'll definitely be more active on, on the campaign front. Um, this is because um, with specific issues such as UCL Health Centre and some of the other issues I, sp I spoke about previously to do with teaching assistants. Um, a lot of times UCL kind of bosses or those people in position of authority haven't actually listened. So direct action seems to be the only way to go at the moment. Um, so I definitely increase the campaign, increase petitions um, to make sure that um, we make a real change and campaign for issues that affect the postgraduate community. Uh, you also want to set up a bi-weekly uh, newsletter how would this work? How would you get the email addresses, etc., to distribute to people? And what would you include in your newsletter? Okay, so um, first of all, it would be distributed online. Um, uh, but in terms of getting getting the emails, I mean, not only the UCL directory, directory, but um, also one of my one of my kind of manifesto points is to make myself more visible around campus. Um, to make sure that not only students that want to participate within issues know who I am, but also the, the average UCL student who, who might not be so involved within kind of student politics or issue campaigning, kind of um, kind of knows knows who I am or know, knows where where to come to find me. So um, I would kind of like to make more more visits to departments throughout the year and just have a chat with students and see how they're getting on. Um, so in, in terms of this, I will use these kind of. Um, uh, these kind of methods to kind of then ask maybe for students' email, email addresses, see if they're interested in these kind of, in having a newsletter being sent to them. Um, and within the newsletter, it will just kind of inform students about how they can get involved within anything, with any, with any events or any campaigns. Um, and also just kind of inform them about any, any social events or any career-related opportunities, just so they can feel like they're getting involved in something. Uh, you want to improve the career prospects of postgrads by securing internships and work experience. Yeah. How would you go about that? Um, well, I think that's that's one of the things I want to do. I kind of want to also increase um, some more workshops and um, some more kind of networking event events, not only on campus but also um, possibly with organisations uh, and employers. So students, postgraduate students, can go to the go to the actual um, source of the the kind of the source of the thing and experience what it's like to be in that kind of environment that, that they wish to be in. Um, in terms of kind of securing work experience and um, internships, um, I'd like to kind of um, work towards arranging kind of 
and organizing partnerships with external organizations and employers, and then kind of try and secure internships and work experience this way, so that students can get some experience meanwhile they're studying at UCL, and um, something that's a bit more flexible around their studies, so they don't feel completely overwhelmed when they come out of, of um, studying to face the job market that we have today. Uh, you mentioned in your manifesto that you want to improve the social life of postgraduates and it is true that a lot of postgraduates do not get involved, especially in comparison to undergraduates in UCLU's clubs and societies. How would you encourage postgraduates to get more involved with the social life of the university? Um, well, uh, I would use kind of the tools that um, I'd be willing to create through my manifesto. So through my manifesto policy, so I, I think I would use the, the postgraduate online forum to kind of um, promote these, these activities and events more, so postgraduates actually know that they exist, or know that, um, know when the events are, or, any upcom or know of any upcoming events that interest them. Um, I'll also make this known in, in the newsletter that's being distributed, and um, I will also work to arrange some um, specific events just for postgraduates. Um, uh, this, this will include some more things like welcome, but official welcoming parties and official Christmas parties because I know that within my department this year we just had we just had Christmas drinks and the, the department fact, faculty and it was quite a, it's quite a sad affair really and, and, and when, you're, when you're a master's student or even a postgrad and uh, as a master's student you're only here for one year it's nice to have some kind of memorable events to look back on and uh, even as a postgraduate like with, with the stress of work like it's it's nice to have a you know to chill out and have some time to to relax and just have fun. Um, yeah. And your final point in your manifesto is to be fully accountable and available to students in postgraduate open meetings, UCLU uh, general assemblies, and in surgeries. People tend not to know these are yeah. happening. How would you publicize these events and help in decrease student apathy? Um, well, like I kind of previously mentioned before, I'd use the postgraduate forum to advertise this, I'd use the newsletter to kind of advertise this, um, and I'd also make myself more visible to the postgraduate community by kind of getting on the ground level and talking to students, the average UCL student who's perhaps not so involved within student politics or student issues and is perhaps not so aware of um, what's going on in the postgraduate community. Um, I'll also try to, to do this by, by visiting various departments throughout the year and just having a general chat with students so they know, they know that um, I'm there for them and um, if they need anything they can, come, they can come to me and hopefully this will kind of encourage them a bit more to, to get involved if they know who's, they know who's um, their officer. <laughs>